Okay, today I want to show you just some other effects that the Bema has on the blood and the blood circulation. Last time, remember, we were talking about the partial oxygen pressure and how the Bema treatment, regular Bema uh, treatment, improves that partial oxygen pressure to the benefit of the body. Another aspect is that our red blood particles um, clump together if we are acidic. What does that mean? It means that when when we are exhausted, when we are ill, when we've just run a marathon, something like that, we are highly acidic. And when we are acidic, the red blood particles clump together. They call it the Rouleau effect, as you can see in this first picture. If you undergo Bema treatment for just a few minutes, these erythrocytes, as these red blood particles are called, will actually separate. Now, why is that important? For two reasons. When the red blood particles clump together, they make a much bigger diameter together and they cannot get through the smallest blood vessels. So the capillaries are between 5 and 7 microns, but a cluster of these red blood particles stuck together will not get through. And it is actually in the capillary that the oxygen is given up by the red blood particle. The other disadvantage of a clumped red blood particle uh, sort of flow is that the ports of the oxygen are blocked. So if they're all together like this, it cannot absorb as much oxygen in the lung as when they are separate. So here's the second picture. After just eight minutes of Bema treatment, these, these clumps are dissolved in the sense that the erythrocytes, these red blood particles, are separate. If they now flow through the lungs, they will be able to absorb more oxygen. And if they absorb more oxygen, there's more oxygen available at the cellular level. And the other thing is that these red blood particles can now actually individually get through the capillaries. In fact, the capillary is slightly smaller than the diameter of a single red blood particle and that mechanical squeezing effect actually releases the oxygen. It's quite amazing if you go into the details of this. So this dark field microscopy, as it is called medically, shows that with Bema treatment, your blood flow not only improves, but the red blood particles can absorb more oxygen and release the oxygen at the places where it should. Now, where has all this research been done? Uh, it can be shown with the right instrumentation um, that all these things really happen. This is not just something you believe in, but it is something that happens. And the independent institutions um, like universities, research papers and so on, and also user studies, which are anecdotal, I know, but the research is done, amongst other things, also at this Institute for Microcirculation, under the leadership of Dr. Rainer Klopp, who's a medical doctor, but who specialized in microcirculation. And he's got this beautiful lab that I personally also visited in Berlin, to see what is going on there and uh, we hit it off very well and I understand what Dr. Klopp is doing there uh, and uh, I have an affinity to it because my background is aerodynamics and fluid flow so that is very related. Dr. Klopp also wrote the seminal textbook really on microcirculation uh, where a lot of the content of that book has to do with the Bema because the Bema made it visible in a way what he was researching. So I trust that that gives you some more um, insight, that it gives you more confidence in what this Bema is doing. As I said before, it doesn't really matter if you believe in the Bema or not. Scientifically, what I've explained to you so far is what happens. If you believe in it or not, if you're a human being or a horse, it happens. So thanks for looking in again. See you next week.